All right, team, welcome back to another video. Happy New Year, the first video of 2023. Hope you had a lovely Christmas, a lovely New Year, and you're settling back into the rhythm of things. Got a jam-packed video today, off-season diaries, plenty going on. We're back in the gym, new program, you'll see all of that. We have a little bit of a chat about illness, how to deal with illness as a footballer, a lot of that going around at the minute. And then finally, we head off to Man United, off to Old Trafford, watch the United keepers warm up, and give a little bit of analysis on that. So plenty to look forward to. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, click subscribe. Come and join us on the channel. Let's get stuck straight into it and head off to the gym. We're back, gym car park, ready for a session. Exciting gym session today. Santa brought a new gym top and some new gym shoes, which I'm excited to give a first run out to today. Anyway, more seriously, Today's session, I've changed my program up a little bit during this off season, preparing for the new season. I've worked on this one with my friend Pi, mental coach, physical coach, brilliant trainer, and he's helped to put this one together. So some of the exercises you're gonna see today are really beneficial for me to get that preparation in before pre-season and before we get into the season itself. I remember if you would like a gym program as a goalkeeper, there's a link below this video in the description for the goalkeeper strength program. It's on the website, go and give it a look. That should sort you out. Anyway, let's get in there, let's get to work. Booyah. Always good to see getting that wet, rainy training session. Gym done, good session. As you saw, a bit of plyos, stability, general physical preparedness. Love that phrase. And then a little bit of upper body as well. Oh, Yeah, good session, feeling good, training good, feeling sharp. Just waiting to get back to it now. Not long, not long. Right, time to head home, get some food, and then yeah. See what's happening this afternoon. Right, so gym done. Now, I thought I'd answer a little bit of a question that I've had from some people, a little bit topical at the minute. During the winter months, especially December, January, there's plenty of bugs flying around. Not something new for the last couple of years, obviously with COVID, but this year in particular, 
I've had lots of messages of people struggling with coughs, flu, COVID, all that kind of stuff, asking about how to deal with that when you're training as a goalkeeper, as an athlete in general. When I was younger, and I'm sure a lot of you guys probably share this mentality, I used to think I would just smash through it. I would just train as hard as I could and keep going and I'd come out the other side of it. Looking back, as an older, more experienced goalkeeper, I realized that was definitely the wrong thing to be doing. In fact, it was probably as far from the opposite of what I should have been doing. So the three most important things to do when you're struggling with an illness, number one, sleep as much as you can. You'll hear a lot of people say, if sleep was a pill, it would probably be a banned substance because of how much it helps your performance. And that is no different to when you're struggling with illness. If you can get eight, nine, even 10 hours sleep, it can make a massive difference in terms of how quickly you can come back from having an illness. The second one, a little bit of a combination, is your diet and your fluids. Same as normal, but extra important when you're suffering with an illness. Make sure you're hydrated, drink lots and lots of water throughout the day consistently, and make sure that your food is full of the nutrients that you should be taking on. Loads of fruit and vegetables, whole foods, try and avoid as much processed foods as you can, and that diet element will really help your body to combat an illness, to beat it off so that you can get back training again. And the third one, the most important one, is prioritize your recovery over your training. A lot of you guys will be feeling scared if you have got an illness, that you're gonna be missing training, you're gonna be falling behind, but the reality is your body's working probably just as hard as it does normally with training, but this time it's working on fighting off an illness. Your heart rate will be up, your breathing rate will be up, sometimes you might have a temperature, all these factors where your body's working really hard to try and beat an illness. Your last thing you wanna do is add in more training load on top of that, when your body's trying to prioritize getting better. Best thing that you can do is allow your body to focus on that, cut out your training for a bit, take a step away for a couple of days, a week, even two weeks if you need to. But you'll find if you do that, if you take the training away, you will come back a lot quicker and you'll get back to your normal rhythm a lot sooner. And then once you're feeling better, once you're getting back to normal, you can start to build up your training slowly again so you get back to where you were before. So sleep as much as you can, eat well, drink well, and cut out that training to focus on your recovery in those key days. So hopefully with some of the stuff that's been going around at the minute, which is grim, that can help you out if you do get knocked down with illness. I hope you don't, but if you do, hopefully that can help. Anyway, back to it. And a bit of time ago, before the new year, I was lucky enough to go to Old Trafford with my brother Sean to watch United versus Burnley. And I thought I'd take you guys along. So let's go, theater of dreams, booyah. <laughs> Trafford with the broski. <laughs> We've got Martin Dubravka versus Bailey Peacock Farrell. What are you expecting from this goalkeeping matchup, Sean? Uh, in fairness, quality level's been better than expected. In the warm-up. In the warm-up. <laughs> in the warm-up. The Bravka's weak foot wasn't bad, so yeah. I've been pleasantly surprised, which is good. Bravka's good. Yeah. And Bailey Peacock Farrell's good. Well, once you watch 15 distribution tutorials, you know, you, yeah. just, you get a bit pampered. Sean's goalkeeper knowledge for an outfielder <laughs> is very high. So we'll, we'll come to him after full time for a full review. <laughs>
So if you ever get the chance to come to games, try and come a little bit early and watch the warm-ups. You actually learn a lot from seeing how someone warms up. For example, we've got, who've we got? De Gea, Tom Heaton, the Yeah. Tom Heaton is clean. His technique is so good and he's so sharp. You probably say, okay, maybe he's number three out of the three. But the way that he's warming up says a lot about him. What a keeper. But yeah, you'll learn a lot from the game, but always come and watch the warm up. You'll learn something else new. So, half time, I would say Bailey Peacock Farrell probably, probably winning out of two keepers. Very unlucky with the goal, it's just an absolute worldy cross and spinning. But unbelievable with his feet, left foot zinging it about. Came and took a good cross and made a very good save for Martial. Dubravka, good save up to his left, but a couple of shaky moments with the ball at his feet. Just trying to play out from the back and. A uh, couple of decisions which are a bit oh, harder. But a very, very good save up there. And yeah, three teams so far for him. So it's tight. We will see what the second half holds. Strikers opinion. Some goal down. Game done, 2-0 United. Nice to watch both keepers actually, not watched either of them play before live. Dubravka, Bailey Peacock Farrell, but especially Bailey Peacock Farrell, really impressed. Really good game with his feet, dominant coming and taking crosses, some really good saves, and only really beaten by two really, really nice goals, so felt bad for him. Great to watch both of them play and great to learn from both of them. Live games definitely gives you a different perspective, enables you to learn a little bit more than you would from watching on the telly. This week's Patreon of the Week is Lucas Mickelson. Lucas, thanks for supporting us. Thanks for supporting the channel. We wouldn't be able to make these videos without patrons like yourself, so a massive, massive thank you. And that's it for this week's Off-Season Diaries. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please hit that like button down below. Click subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to leave a comment. I'm still doing the Q&A each episode, trying to answer questions from the comments of the previous episode. So if you'd like me to answer anything, let me know down below. But thank you for watching. Hope you had a lovely Christmas. Happy New Year again. And I'll see you next week for the next video. Look after yourselves, keep chasing improvement, and I'll speak to you in a bit.